What's going on guys, welcome back to another tutorial video and in this video we're going to be talking about splash paints. So, splash paints, I do get a lot of questions about them because I do use them quite frankly on my builds and uh, overall I just love them. So, like I said, I do get a lot of questions on how I use them so we're going to go ahead and answer all those questions in this video. So, first things first, splash paints. Uh, they only been in business for since 2018, which is not very long, but to be honest, it seems like a lot longer than that, and every single time, I think every week or so, or every month, it just seems like they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, I met Splash Paints at Acme Show a few years ago, and uh, such a nice owner, he's, he's an awesome guy. So, so Splash Paints, um, like I said, wonderful products. A 10 out of 10 stars for me. I mean, I just had no issue with them. So today we're gonna be going ahead and show you what how we're gonna use them. So, uh, like I said, I got questions on how I use them. So we're gonna head and answer those. So first things first, splash paints. They are only airbrush ready, and only made for airbrush. They're not made for paintbrush um, because they, they won't work on paintbrush because the paints are super thin and it won't go on, paint, on paintbrush. So they are only airbrush ready and only airbrush only so and they do work on scale models plastic models and they also work on die cast models because i've seen them, people i've seen people on instagram do die cast models with them and they look they look amazing so today we're going to be showing you how to spray a body and this body we're going to be spraying it's a nissan skyline gtr r34 nismo edition by tamiya very cool body so we're going to be spraying this today with splash paints and jade green very cool color so we're gonna go ahead and get this color on this body today and show you how we do it so first things first like you gotta get your body prepped you, you are gonna have to prime the body before you use any of these colors if you do recommend primer you can't just spray these colors on top of just plastic or anything you do have to prime it so you want to what kind of primer should I use well obviously splash paints they do make primer uh, they make 2k primer or 1k primer 2k primer is a little bit more heavier it's more dense and it's stronger than the 1k so you can wet sand it and it, it shouldn't rub off as easy as 1k 1k is a little bit you know finer and it's not as strong as 2k but um both of them work perfectly i see people use them and they work fantastic and they do work good now if you don't want to use splash paints primer or you don't like them or it's up to you um, he also does recommend you use automotive primer any kind of automotive primer because automotive primer it is high dense and as it doesn't rub off as easy so make sure you use automotive primer if you don't want to use the splash paints primer if you don't if you don't use automotive primer if you just use like a rustoleum primer like not like made for wood and plastic and stuff uh, don't use that because I did a test test one on the hood and splash paint does not lick it. The colors it wrinkles up the paint and it doesn't. Sometimes it wrinkles it, sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes it just get nasty orange peel, which that, that's what you, you don't want. That so make sure you use the splash paint primer or just automotive primer. Make sure you use those and your color will turn out perfect. All right, so now I get a primer stage out of the way and it's time for color. So color, pick your choose what color you want, paint body or whatever you're painting a figure or die cast or whatever. So like I mentioned, splash paints paints are super thin. Okay, so only do light, light coats. I do not go heavy. If you go heavy, you're gonna risk to wrinkle up the paint and you don't want that. So be sure to go very, very light coats. Don't go heavy at all. Do at least three coats three coats mostly covers for me but if you feel comfortable go ahead and do four or five it depends how good the color cover how good the uh, color covers uh, so make sure you do three coats at least if not more um don't try just do one or two coats because you're gonna you know like i said don't don't do heavy coats because they are super thin paint and you don't want to risk the paint running or Again, in this case, sometimes it could wrinkle up the paint. So be sure to do very light coats. And your air pressure for your airbrush, you only want that. Make sure, okay, so there's two different types of airbrushes. There's a gravity feed and there's a suction feed. So gravity feed is what airbrush I have. 
So I spray my paint at 13 PSI. I'm more comfortable at 13 PSI. 13 PSI is, is more enough for me, but spray between 10 to 15 PSI. Don't go more than 15 because like I mentioned, super thin and you don't want the paint to come out very heavy. So 10 to 15 PSI. Now, if you're using the gravity a suction feed airbrush that has to suck up the paint, spray between, um, I gotta say, at least 13 to 15 PSI. Okay, you don't want more than 15, like I mentioned, on either airbrushes because, like I mentioned, paints are super thin. You don't want a heavy, thick coat. And uh, 15 is more than enough, I believe, for both airbrushes. I spray my airbrush at 13 PSI, sometimes even 12. So, don't go more 15, keep your coats light and even, all right? So, after your paint's all covered and you got all covered up and you're time for clear coat, you're wondering what kind of clear coat works on splash paints? Well, clear coat, splash paints also makes 2K clear or 1K clear or to make matte clear or semi-gloss clear. So, go through splash paints website. I'll put a link in the website in the description. Check them out. Um, they do... Like I said, clear coat, one, 2K, 1K, matte, semi, you know, any kind of clear you think of, Splash Paints makes it. So if you want to feel 100% precise on Splash Paints, use their primer, use their colors, and use their clear. You will be 100% safe. Now, if you want to take a little risky run, you can go with automotive primer and use their colors. And if you don't want to use their 2K clear, you can use Automove 2K clear. It works perfectly fine. So, today, like I mentioned, we're going to go ahead and spray this body with the Jade Green. So, let's go ahead and get to the paint booth and show you how we'll get this body covered. Alright, so the first thing we're going to be doing is, well, get your body and blow off any access dust. If you had to sand the primer down or anything, get any access dust off the body because you don't want that on your body when you're doing color so be sure to blow a whole body off of your the air for your airbrush and then you'll be all set to do your color all right so after you stand out after you blow off the whole body and now it's time for color so what i like to do is like i mentioned do a very light coats don't go heavy so first thing I like to do is I do the hard to reach areas or easy to forget spots. So such as the fenders of the wheels, the wheel fenders, the bottom of the skirts, any kind of air you might think you might miss or forget about. So I get all kind of vents and all this, um, you know, complicated areas you might forget about. And you know, after doing whole body, you just tend to forget about it and you know, so I like to get the easy to get spots or, or hard to reach areas first, whatever you want to call it, and get that over with, and then I'll move on to the whole body. So I'm going to be showing you how to do one coat, because every three coats, the other two coats are just the same, and I think I want to bore you guys with it. But like I mentioned, only do very light coats. Don't go heavy. If you go heavy, you're going to risk to bank coat the color. So hope you enjoyed this footage, and I'll see you back at my desk.
so all right guys there we go that's pretty much about all you need to know about you know splash paints as you see the paint is very wonderful and it covers super well sometimes you know it depends on the color it could cover lightly and sometimes it could cover very well in this case it covers very well as you can tell by footage um i mean very cool now like i said three coats is more enough this is three coats right here uh, like I said, I didn't want to bore you with the other two coats because it's basically the same exact thing, but you get the idea. The colors just cover very well and be sure to just do very light coats and you will have an awesome, you know, painted model or die cast. And then if you want to see the clear coat stage, click right here to see how I do my clear coat and that will show you how I do my 2K clears. But other than that, that is really about it for now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it helped you. And go over to SpreshPaste.com and check them out. Like I said, they have hundreds, hundreds of colors out, out there for all kinds of cars. And they make colors for figures. <laughs> so yeah, they make colors for figures, cars, all kinds of stuff. So, and get their primer or 2K clear, or it's up to you. You, you can use uh, Automotive Primer that's what I use on here. It's on all primer and it looks fantastic. There's no, you know, peeling or nothing. Uh, if you want to be 100% safe, go ahead, use, just use their products. I use just their primer and color and their clear before and it's very, very fantastic. You feel more safe that way, but if you want to take an extra step, go ahead, use Almo primer. Use the color on top of the primer and if you want to, go ahead and use Almo 2K clear. It's totally up to you. But like I said, 100% more safe. Go ahead, use all their products, and you can't go wrong. But Splash Paints, like I said, incredible company, and they, they're just making loads of new colors every month, it seems like, and they're coming up with hundreds of colors every year. So check them out, and give yourself a try on them. Make sure you have an airbrush, because they are only airbrush ready, and only airbrush paint. So, but that will be it for this tutorial video. Like I said, I hope to help you guys. But until my next video, guys, and until my next tutorial video, I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.